Hi, welcome to Ed Paris TV. So today I find myself kind of out of my normal routine. Uh, the gym is kind of far away and I'm not really here to train, I'm on vacation, but I do things just to keep the blood flowing. And in the midst of doing that, I, I reminisced and remembered a thread where people started talking about being at the beginner level and how there are certain things they cannot do or they have an injury or what have you. And so they're not quite ready to do things like push-ups with their own body weight at a horizontal angle, or they're not able to even pull their body weight up doing pull-ups. But there's ways you can prepare to become that strong so that you can move on from there and eventually maybe even join a gym. But if you don't have access to a gym, say, to be able to train your back to prepare to do pull-ups, and you can't do the lat pull down that has the pulley system where you can gradually increase the weight and become strong enough to do pull ups. You might have to figure out ways to do this at home. And I'm going to give you an example. Uh, this is something you can also do just by looking around your house and make sure that uh, what your choice is is a logical one and how to mimic this motion or, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing I'm going to use. It could be any other thing that works in the same manner. So just look out, look around in your house and you'll find something to do equivalent. So I'm going to show you now how to do something that will prepare you to do pull-ups. And most of the weight is going to be on my feet actually. Or uh, you can reduce the amount of weight that's on your feet simply by making your back and your arms uh, finish that contraction in a stronger way. That way you, you'll be able to eventually put less and less weight on your feet until you can actually do the real thing. So here's one way you can mimic a pull-up. I'll grab these two bars here from this fence and allow myself to drop to about here. And get my chest forward. And as I pull myself up, I'm gonna breathe out. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Pause at the top, breathe in, on the way down. Let it stretch. Keep the tension on the muscle because that's what strengthens the ligament. And then pull up, squeeze at the top, squeeze hard, pause, and go down. So that's an ideal way to mimic a pull-up without having the machines. You can do a row like this as well. Squeeze. So you breathe in, breathe out. Same principle. Now when it's time to move on to the opposite, because that was pulling movements we just did here, pushing movements to mimic a push-up, can't do a horizontal push-up? No problem, grab a chair. Now your body's gonna be at an angle. Most of your weight's gonna be down on your feet. What's cool about this though is that you'll be able to go deeper than a push-up. Your chest will be able to go further than where the floor would be if you were actually horizontal on the ground. And you'll get a better stretch at the bottom. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe in, breathe out. And really concentrate on that contraction. That mind to muscle connection is what's really gonna get you there. Then you would move on to say shoulders. You grab something like a backpack or any other object if you don't have dumbbells. Fill it up with something that you think is heavy. And then you can do your lateral raises like this. Now if I'm pulling from right off the side of my leg, the lateral raise hits the medial head of the deltoid. If you want to hit the anterior head, then you would lean forward a little bit like this and bring it up from here. Always make sure that your arm is not completely straight and that when you're bringing it up imagine that a puppeteer is pulling your elbow up with a string and like you're pouring water out of a jug here like this 
And then if you want to hit the rear, you would lean forward a little bit and just bring it up. From there, after you've already pre-exhausted all three heads of the shoulders, you could even turn it into a press. You have two of these, you can use both and press with both. You can do lateral raises with both. For arms, you could put on some heavy stuff on there and do concentration curls. Now, I don't do a lot of this because I don't want to create drag when I'm throwing a strike. I don't want any drag here. So I'm not trying to get huge biceps, but some people might want them. So why not figure out ways to develop them, right? You could do the same thing for, for your biceps here like this. You know, changing your hand position to get more of the bicep engaged, your hand would have to be underhanded. Here I can't quite do that, but maybe here I can. Here I would be able to do that. Just by grabbing an underhanded grip. Overhanded, you would focus more on the brachials, forearms, and you could get more that way. So there's just so many ways you can train at home. You don't have to be bound to just what's available at the gym. You know, if you do your triceps, I'll take the same chair, but turn it around to get a little more stability. And this will mimic what in the gym people call skull crushers on the bar. You're laying down horizontally and the bar comes down to your forehead with your elbows tucked in, and then you get a full extension. Well, here I'm gonna mimic the same thing using my own body weight. On the way down, you get that stretch. On the way up, feel that contraction and focus on it because it'll make it feel heavier and you'll get stronger faster this way. Going back to the chest, there's other ways you can hit it too. You can hit it from different angles. You wanna hit the bottom, turn your elbows in, hook up more, dip down deep and come up. That'll hit the lower line of the chest. You want to hit the upper part more. Hold it a little higher, turn your elbows out. And squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. So there's just so many ways. Use your imagination and just be logical. Start with the larger body parts first, move on to the smaller body parts afterwards. All right, so that's all for today. I'll catch you next time on Ed Power STV. Like and subscribe, please. Thanks, peace.